All right, pal, I'm the fashion police here. Yeah, I was going to give you a ticket for those pleats, but hey, no worries. I'm not going to arrest your last season's outfit. I'm here to tell you something new about your personality based on the items you love to wear. Because they can actually tell me who you really are and reveal all your secrets to me. So, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Grab a pen and a paper and keep track of your answers to get the most accurate description at the end. You ready? Then let's begin. Which color palette speaks to you the most? A. Is it going to be this bright one? B. Or maybe this heartwarming B? C. Looks good to me as well. D. Is so pastel. And E. Well, that's something different. Two, what is a pattern you like to wear? A, floral but make it more abstract. B, plaids. C, stripes. D, animal prints. E, I like to keep things plain. Three, you're out shopping with your friends at the mall. What's the first item you look at? A, all kinds of jewelry. B, a giant scarf. C. A sleek and expensive bag. D. I head to the makeup section first. I mean, you do. E. Oversized hoodies. 4. What would be your ideal place to live? A. Living the van life would be the dream. B. A cottage inside the woods that's far from any chaos. C. A penthouse on the tallest skyscraper in the city. D. A giant mansion in the burbs. E. An apartment in a brownstone building. 5. Which statement do you agree with? A. The clothes I wear usually reflect how I feel during that day. B. I love layering. It also makes me prepared for any kind of weather. C. I don't like changing my style. I stick to what I think looks good on me. D. I always follow the trends and spend my money on designer items. E. I value comfort over style, but I try to look presentable. 6. What is something you will never wear? A. I'll wear it if I feel like it. B. Neon colors. C. Cargo pants. D. Ripped jeans. E. Anything with sequins. Mm Mm-hmm. 7. What would be your ideal shoes? A. Sandals B. Boots C. Loafers D. High heels E. Sneakers 8. What do you think about accessories? A. The more the better B. I have a necklace I wear every day. It brings me luck C. An expensive watch is the best accessory. It's also practical D. I wear diamonds all the time. E. Less is more. 9. How would your friends describe your style? A. Honestly, I don't know and don't care. B. A mix of dark academia and cottage core. C. They tell me I look sharp. D. I don't know, but I hope they like it. E. They would say I'm a minimalist. 10. What do you tend to wear when traveling? A. Whatever I find lying on the ground in my messy room is fine. B. A cozy sweater and jeans. C. A suit. D. Full makeup. E. A t-shirt and sweatpants. 11. Which city would you like to visit? A. Rio B. Edinburgh C. New York D. Monte Carlo E. Copenhagen 12. What is your favorite Friday night activity? A. Going out dancing with my friends B. Watching a new movie, preferably at home C. Dining at a Michelin star restaurant. D. 
I prefer Sunday brunches over Friday night activities. E. Gathering with friends at somebody's place. Thirteen. Where do you like to shop? A. Wherever I feel like. B. I shop online and check vintage stores. C. I usually visit a tailor for custom-made clothes that fit me perfectly. D. I shop at designer stores only. E. Retail stores have everything I want. 14. What is something you would like to try? A. Piercings or tattoos would be fun. B. Adding cloaks to my wardrobe. C. Wearing brighter colors from time to time. D. Staying in my PJs all day. E. I would like to try the futuristic style one day. 12. That's it for questions. Now, let's see what your style tells me about you. If you have mostly A's, it's fair to say you have an edgy style. You're a bold person who likes to show your personality. You're comfortable in your own skin. You aren't afraid to be different and don't like being bound by rules and restrictions. You're a bit of a rebel. That's why you don't really care whether a shirt goes well with a coat or if the color of your bag matches the color of your shoes. The word impossible doesn't exist in your vocabulary. You are very creative and smart. You have an unconventional way of thinking. You are also a dreamer and a bit of a romantic. That's why you think if you put your mind to it, there is nothing you can't achieve. We need more free spirits like you. If you have mostly bees, you're a nostalgic one. That's why you enjoy the fashion of the past decades. You try to interpret it in your life and create more modern looks with those old trends. You value wisdom the most. That's why you love to read lots of books and learn new things. You're a mysterious person who doesn't let people in easily. It takes time for you to trust and open up. But those who are a part of your life are so lucky because there is nothing you won't do to protect them or make them feel loved and happy. Your favorite season is likely the fall, and you're probably a night owl. You don't like being in crowded places. It drains your energy. You prefer spending time alone in nature. It makes you feel powerful. Try to meet more people and give them a chance to get to know you. They might surprise you. If you have mostly C's, you're a let's-get-down-to-business type of person. And you show that with your formal clothes. You value power and like to have control over things. It's important for you to stay on top of everything. You get angry if you feel like people are keeping something from you. Minor inconveniences cause you great distress. You're most likely an early bird who is ambitious and hardworking. You want to be successful in everything you do and expect so much from yourself. Now, keep in mind that you're only human and such high expectations put you under a lot of pressure. You don't have to have a solution for everything all the time. It's okay to fail every now and then. Those who truly love you will still accept you, even if you don't achieve greatness. Now, if you have mostly Ds, your wardrobe is sophisticated and classy. You always dress well and look polished no matter where you're going. Even if that means you're overdressing for the occasion, you never compromise your style. You love being the center of attention. You care about what people think of you. And that's why you tend to buy stuff that you think they would like. You may seem like a snob to some people, but actually, you have a very kind and big heart. Those who are close to you know that you love to help others whenever you can and try to bring out the best in them. Don't be afraid to show people who you really are and live your own truth. You don't need to please them all the time with the way you look, talk, or act. You're enough, and you're loved. If you have mostly ease, you have a casual style. You like to keep things simple. You often choose sporty clothing items because they make you feel comfortable and relaxed. You're a bit shy and don't like drawing too much attention to yourself. You like being around people, especially your close ones. You feel much better and happier when you know you belong to a group. You're a good communicator and bond well with other people. However, you also value your personal space. So sometimes, sitting at a cafe alone, sipping coffee, and observing others is one of your favorite activities. You're also athletic, and you take good care of your health. So, was the description you got accurate? Let me know, pal, in the comments below.
And hey, I'll let you off with a warning this time. Lose the pleats. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.